of volcanoes in southwestern Iceland erupted, sending jets of lava into the sky, triggering the evacuation of the popular Blue Lagoon geothermal spa and cutting heat and hot water to thousands of people. The eruption began at about 0600 GMT, 1 a.m. est, along a three-kilometer fissure northeast of Mount Selingar fell, the Icelandic Meteorological Office said. Several communities on the Rake Janes Peninsula were cut off from heat and hot water after a river of lava engulfed a supply pipeline. The strength of the eruption had decreased by mid-afternoon, though lava continued to spew from parts of the fissure and a huge plume of steam rose over a section of the crack where magma mixed with groundwater. The eruption site is about 4 kilometers to a miles northeast of Grindavik. There was no immediate threat to the town on Thursday. Civil defense officials said no one was believed to be in Grindavik at the time of the new eruption. They weren't meant to be, and we don't know about any. The head of Iceland's civil defense told national broadcaster RUV. The civil defense agency said lava reached a pipeline that supplies several towns on the Rake Janes Peninsula with hot water which is used to heat homes from the Svartsenji geothermal power plant. Authorities urged residents to use hot water and electricity sparingly, as workers rushed to lay an underground water pipe as a backup. Schools, gyms and swimming pools were shut because of the lack of heat and water. The Blue Lagoon Thermal Spa, created using excess water from the power plant, was closed when the eruption began, and all the guests were safely evacuated. A stream of steaming lava later spread across the exit road from the spa. No flight disruptions were reported at nearby Keflavik, Iceland's main airport, but hot water was cut off, airport operator Asabia said. The Icelandic Met Office earlier this week warned of a possible eruption after monitoring a buildup of magma, or semi-molten rock, below the ground for the past three weeks. Hundreds of small earthquakes have been measured in the area since Friday, capped by a burst of intense seismic activity about 30 minutes before the latest eruption began. dramatic video from Iceland's Coast Guard showed fountains of lava soaring more than 50 meters, 165 feet, into the darkened skies. A plume of vapor rose about 3 kilometers, 1A miles, above the volcanoes. Dave McGarvey, a volcanologist who has worked extensively in Iceland, said it's highly unlikely the gentle, if use of eruption would disrupt aviation because such volcanoes produce only a tiny amount of ash. Grindavik, about 50 kilometers, 30 miles, southwest of Iceland's capital, Reykjavik, was evacuated in November when the Svartsenji volcanic system awakened after almost 800 years with a series of earthquakes that opened large cracks in the earth north of the town. Defensive walls that had been bolstered since the first eruption stopped some of the flow but several buildings were consumed by the lava, and land in the town has sunk by as much as 1 meters, 4 a feet, because of the magma movement. Icelandic President Gidney Th. Johannesson called a daunting period of upheaval on the Rake Janes Peninsula, one of the most densely populated parts of Iceland. It's unclear whether the residents of Grindavik will ever be able to return permanently, the town is basically uninhabitable, he said. He said that after centuries of quiet, people thought this area was fairly safe. It's been a bit of a shock that it has come back to life, evidence that we gathered only quite recently is that eruptions could go on for decades, if not centuries, sporadically in this particular peninsula.